I need a strapper. Still ain't got a good look at him. It is. I knew he wasn't acting right. <laughs> yeah, let's try. Oh, goodness. Let's get this feller in here. Man, that thing is hooked in the bottom lip. There he goes. Yeah, buddy. Striped bass right there, buddy. I knew. So it didn't feel very big when I picked up on him, but man, it just took off and started pulling some drag and I could feel the head shakes and uh, I was like, ah, that ain't no cat right there. Nice. Let me throw him here on the board for you and then we'll let him go right fast. That one there is gonna be about 33 inches. Good fish. One final look there. 33 inch striped bass ate a sucker head. All right. See ya. And he gone. That's a nice thing right now, y'all, about catching these strappers water temp being, uh, it's 55.8 right now. You can catch these fish and they swim off healthy. Once you get on into the summertime and the water gets hot, they just don't tend to do well. You really gotta land them quickly, get them back in the water quickly, or else they go belly up on you. But right now, it's a good time to catch them and a good time to release them. Let's get this bait out there. Y'all, I'm gonna get this bait out here real quick. Cause that one was getting hit and I think he let it go while I was fooling with this bait. No, he may still be on there. He's still on there. He's still on there. Let's pick up on him. Let's reel down. Yeah, he's on there, man. He's on there. He has crossed my other line here while I was screwing around with that other bait. Getting it rehooked. Getting rebaited, I should say. Get this one landed here, and then uh, I'm gonna have to check these other lines. I think I'm a uh, anchor slipped a little bit, and I've slid forward. This one here's another one on. Uh, the gizzard chad head. That sucker head got eaten by the striper, but the gizzard shad continues to be the bait of the morning. Thankfully, this fish here crossed my other line, but did not get in it. So we'll just go ahead and land him on this side of the kayak. All right. Well, that one there ate that gizzard shad head while I was trying to get the other bait out. Another dink, but man, the bite has been on fire here this morning, y'all. That's just, uh, timing's everything. You know, this section of the river is really good for really about a month. And uh, you'll catch fish the rest of the year here periodically. If you're here at the right time, you know, and, and uh, you'll get some big fish here throughout the year, but there's a window of time here in the spring where this section is just on. You get a lot of action, you get some big fish here, and uh, you know, I'd hit it a couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago, I guess, and uh, got one good fish, but really didn't get much action though. I just got a few fish, got that one good bite, and clearly the water's, water temps and uh, time of year, it's, it's getting here now. So uh, let's get another bait on there, man. I don't want to sit here and waste time talking. <laughs> here we go, here we go, man. Goodness, I couldn't get the camera going in time. I don't know if I got the takedown or not, but man, that was a big takedown. 
Yeah, buddy. I've been sitting here, y'all, for, gosh, over an hour now. Once that fog lifted this morning, the sun burned off. The bite just died. It was on from dawn until, until the fog lifted, and then it's been dead since then. But this rod just doubled. I'm excited about this, man. When that rod goes over like that, they get you pumped. I think I got another one tapping that other rod there. I do. Look at that one. There goes that one, too. I'm going to deal with this one in my hand here first. I think this one in my hand is decent. I've just been biding my time, you know. That's all you can do. Just sit here and wait. And wait on the next wave of them to come through. See what this is. I don't know if he's a blue or... That fish right there, y'all, is hooked in the back. <laughs> That's why he felt so good. Let's set him back a second and pick up on this one and see if he's any better. Let's, let's see if this one's any better. That other one somehow got hooked in the back and was foul hooked. That's why he felt so good. <laughs> got my hopes up for nothing on that one. Doggone it. <laughs> That's all right, though. It's all about that adrenaline rush. If you can get it with a big fish or a foul hooked fish, it's all the same. <laughs> this one right here in my hand don't feel too bad. The way this one in my hand hit it, thought it was probably a dink you know that's why I wasn't just immediately wanting to pick up on it while I was fighting that other one but he's he's a decent fish unless he's foul hooked too <laughs> he's gonna get in with that other fish right there I'll try to keep him from getting tangled with him yeah I think I'm getting them wrapped up together that's all right though He's gonna go, man. He's gonna pull now. This is a good fish right here, y'all. This is a good one. I did not think he was that big when I first picked up on him. It makes me wonder if he ain't a flathead. I already got one out here this morning. He's hell bent on getting in wrapped up with that other fish though, ain't he? Yeah, this has got to be a flathead, man. He's just solid down there. He ain't rolling. Goodness gracious, man. Goodness, man, he's pulling. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this rod and move it to that rod holder there. There we go. Now yeah, that ought to keep them getting tangled up together. Man, oh man. Golly, bum, there he goes again, man. Oh man, he's pulling. I need to loosen my drag a little bit. I tightened it down earlier. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, y'all. That's it? Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. I had a 
Look at this. I want you to look at it. Let me get this thing in here. Look at the teeth. Look at the marks on this fish. Look at him. Look at that. Dang, man. This little blue had eaten my bait. And another fish had eaten him. And he let him go right here. <laughs> oh, man. Man. I'd much rather had the fish that had eaten this fish. Dang, man. <laughs> well, that's a good story anyway. That sure is frustrating. Look at that. <laughs> So he's kind of a tore up there. See the marks here. Good fish I was fighting, man. It's a good fish. I was laying this one at a foul hooked. All right, y'all. Here's the one that was foul hooked. He was somehow got wrapped up with the bait there, and hooked in a dorsal fin. So he fooled me, and I thought he was bigger than he was because I was pulling him in sideways. 